plus the two inch reach advantage at yesterday's weigh in both coming in under the 160 pound limit. And the key unified rules for this title fight no standing eight count, no three knockdown. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth round, the fight's ruled to no decision. If it happens after the end of round four, they go to the, the scorecards. So here at the Miami High Life Front Time, getting ready for Masolino Masoe versus Evans Ashira for the vacant WBA middleweight championship. We get the formal introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you, and we welcome you to the beautiful Miami High Life Front on here in Miami, Florida, as we have a big night of action in store for you. It's an intimate night of world championship boxing, and it's all brought to you by Don King Productions, as sponsored by Tony Brown CM Exchange in association with Showtime. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Gonzalo Riveras, along with the Florida State Athletic Commission. Introducing our judges, scoring this bout from ringside, from Ellis, Texas, Ruben Garcia, from Maracay, Venezuela, Gonzalo Riveras, and from Miami, Florida, John Rupert. At this time, introducing our third man to the ring, the referee in charge of the bout, working in this his 17th world title bout, Tommy uh, Kimmons. Fight fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA middleweight championship of the world. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold lettering. He is fighting out of Aarhus, Denmark, by way of Mombasa, Kenya. He weighed in at 159 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 23 wins, no losses, 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBA International Middleweight Champion, currently ranked number five in the world by the WBA. Please welcome the African warrior, Evans Ashira. his opponent across the ring on my right fighting out of the red corner in this 12 round vacant championship attraction he is wearing black trunks with white trim handling from south auckland new zealand he weighed in at a trim and ready 158 and one half pounds his record stands at 25 wins two losses with 24 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the WBA number four ranked middleweight contender, introducing Masalino Masoy. Once again, Tommy Kimmins is our referee in charge of this bout, 12 rounds of boxing schedule. Let's go. Fighters in two seconds. Gentlemen, this is a 12-round fight for the WBA Championship of the World, and I gave you your instructions. I want to remind you, this one is here to watch you fight, so keep it clean. Touch him up. Despite being a second-level middleweight championship, prospects for a spirited affair. Masolino Masoi, a real pressure guy, all but one of his 25 wins by knockout. 15 of his 24 knockouts within three. Undefeated Evan Zashira, a muscular fire plug, not known as a big knockout guy, but a relentless body puncher who throws a lot of punches, very effective at close range, always on the attack. There's the bell for round one. It's scheduled for 12 with a vacant WBA middleweight uh, title. In case you're wondering, this became available, this title, when middleweight King Bernard Hopkins became the WBA's super champion, opening up the regular title. Hopkins expected to beat Robert Allen next month to set up a mega fight with Oscar De La Hoya, who meets 
Felix Stern, but make no mistake, Hopkins, the man by which all middleweights are measured these days. So he coming in off a seven month layoff. That's the second second longest of his career. The other was one year. And so of course that's always a concern in the sheriff an eight month layoff. So both these men uh, some danger early in the fight. Of course, as you point out, they're both aggressive and we see that early. Here's a sheriff pouring forward. Yeah, this could either be very explosive or very messy or a bit of both. Two fighters not known for their finesse. A sheriff, perhaps the better boxer of the two with speed being a big difference. Masoi feels Ashira is one-dimensional and just looks to load up. But two guys who seem meant for each other, both successful longtime amateurs who got late starts as pros, both very physical, and both, as Al pointed out, haven't fought since September. Stop. Ashira very, very aggressive here in round number one. And Masoi so far uh, hasn't stopped him from coming in. And how many people can you say participated in three different Olympics? Masolino Masoi, 88, 92, and 96. Seven Olympics all told. His record, four up, three down in those bouts. Yeah, seven Olympic bouts and uh, did not medal, but quit himself well. Here goes Masoi now pushing Ashira back. And you see the jab, he really wants to use that punch, and he's starting to get an untracked here in round one. Here's a good left hook upstairs by Masoy. Very tough. It's always forward march from Masoy. Aggressive. Looks to get inside. Not much polish, but uses his strength as a weapon. He just goes push straight in, but he, he needs to do it effectively. He's been working on volume of punches. We'll see if he throws more than usual. Shira, the African warrior who's never actually fought pro in Africa. 21 of his 23 fights in Denmark. Born in Nairobi, Kenya. Moved to Aarhus, Denmark at a young age. And he was in the 96 Olympics as he's getting tagged now by Masolino Masoi. Beautiful left uppercut followed by a right. A barrage by Masoi. Great. Good straight okay. punches by Masoi. I mean, he is getting through the... The defense of Ashira, who wants very much to attack, but he's leaving himself open. And down goes Ashira. Four. Five, Can't be saved by the bell. Six. Seven. Eight. Go to your corner. You okay? Go to your corner. Bell run. So the fighter cannot be saved by the bell in Here's any yeah. round. They continue the count. This All right. And there's urgency there. What's up? Open your nose. Breathe in. Put some in. Put some in. Put it in, in there. there. Put it in there again. Come on, brother. Put some in. Put some in. You're sleeping, son. This is how it happened. The uh, right hand of Masoi, a counter right hand, and a straight punch. And that's what he needed to do in this fight, not throw wide punches the sheer's punches were wider in the first round and that's part of the reason why he was nailed with that counter right hand lots of power from Masoi. even on the inside we see him ripping the short rights in the uppercut this was the one that sent a sure down sure very lucky there were only moments left in that round timing is everything and uh, ashira going down for the first time in his professional career so a great start by Masolino Masoi. 25 and 2 with 24 knockouts, a seven year pro who turned pro at the age of 30. Nope. Nope. Right and right there. there's the second knockdown. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You all right? Come to me. Come to me. Give me gloves. Ashira gets up very quickly. Get back in your corner. I didn't call you. I stayed Two in knockdowns corner. for Massolino Masoi. <laughs> Boy, Tommy Kibbins. Took a long time with Missouri, but it doesn't matter. He is whacking a sure. And a left hook, and that's it. Well, that's enough, There's that's no enough. three knockdown rule, that's but enough. according uh, to Tommy uh, Kimmins, the ref, he's seen uh, enough anyway. Massimo Masoli averages three and a half rounds in his fight, and we just saw why. He is a powerful, powerful man, and if you stand in front of him, he can give you fits as he did to Ashira. And at 37, right. he gets a title. Masolino Masoi wraps up a vacant WBA middleweight championship. Oh. A 
stoppage by the referee uh, Tommy Kimmins here in the second round. I'm a little surprised myself after watching tapes of Evans Ashira. He loses for the first time, 23 and one now. And so he goes to 26 and two. You know, Evans Ashira attacked with abandon in this fight. And I, you know, when we were chatting with him the other day, we were looking for signs that he might use his jab, straight right hand, use a little more of his speed, and he might be a little quicker than Masoi. And he kept saying, I am going to attack. And by golly, he did, but his punches were wider, Masoi's were straighter and more compact, and ultimately that was the difference. Masoi captures the vacant regular WBA middleweight title. In the second round, it would be again a right hand by Masoi that would send Ashira down. A good short straight right hand. And give Masoi credit for not trying to throw another punch while Ashira is down. You don't always see that in boxing. This very compact right hand with Ashira's left hand low. Right over it comes the right hand by Masoi. Masoi himself has been known to be a very wide puncher, but for this fight, he corrected some of those issues of the wide looping punches, and the, he told us they were going to throw straighter punches, and they would use more volume of punches, and that's exactly what he did. Here is where the fight ends, and he shows us a different punch in his arsenal, the left hook. And uh, at that moment, after this third knockdown in the fight, Tommy Kimmins had seen enough, and for Maslino Masoi, maybe a little bit of a surprising victory. Not that he, he couldn't have easily won this fight, but maybe it's the ease with which he won it that could surprise some people. But he, very good combination punching. They did come up with the volume of punches that they won. A startled Evans Ashira in disbelief. <laughs> Hadn't been down at all as a professional goes down three times within two rounds and Marcelino Masoi, close friend of David Tua, with plenty to smile about. Jimmy Lennon Jr. with the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 44 seconds in round number two. A referee in charge, Tommy Kimmins, stops the contest. He's the winner by way of technical knockout and the new WBA middleweight champion of the world, Masalino Masoi. Obviously, the man to beat at 160, still Bernard Hopkins, the WBA super champ. Did tonight's performance by Masoi enhance his chances for a possible future shot at the winner of Hopkins versus De La Hoya, if indeed that's the case, if Hopkins gets by Robert Allen and De La Hoya by Felix Stern? Stay tuned. And coming up next... Hey, thank you very much, Steve. <laughs> Masolino telling us he's not very good in English, so we will bear with you and we will all try and translate and help you. Congratulations. Was this easier than you thought it would be? Uh, no, no, no. I, uh, I thought the guy is going to come to fight, but uh, I know, I know, maybe watch me on tape, but I know he's going to come to fight, but uh, I was, uh, it was planned. I'm going to box him the first round until I come in and, and smack him. Because uh, what, I, what I see on the records, he didn't fight any puncher like me, so... That, that, that's, uh, that's my plan for, for this fight. Masolino, why have you not fought since September? Why such a long layoff? <laughs> it's very hard to tell, but yeah. Uh, uh, with, with, some, uh, with some management uh, difficult, that, that's why. Yeah, but I love, I love to uh, thank, um, first of all, thanks God, uh, and thanks uh, Don King Promotion for giving me the opportunity to prove thank I've got you. still some love left in my way. It doesn't matter. How, what age I am, but I still got something left. Now let me ask you, uh, will you want to try and fight Bernard Hopkins, and do you feel as though you can compete with him? Uh, be honest, I, I feel I can, because be honest, I, I spar with some of the top boxers in, in the world, especially in America. I spar with David Reed, with Penel Winnegar, and uh, I feel like I can, I can fight if I train properly, and I'm in good shape, I can fight anybody. All right, congratulations to you, Masolino. And I love to have the opportunity, Don, and You're I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks very much. We're going to do great things together. Thanks very much. All right, congratulations.